<laughs> okay, welcome back to this series. We are going to be bailing out our lab. So one of the first things we need to do is actually build out our virtual machines so that we can get started. So this first step, we are going to download and install Windows Server 22, and we're using Hyper-V. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's look at my Hyper-V console here and you see that it is blank. I've already built it out and I've named it VC01. Now, by default, Microsoft gives you the ability to play with um, servers, the operating systems. So you can go ahead and download it from here, microsoft.com and go to the evaluation center and here you can actually download the Windows Server 22 model. Uh, you can get it in ISO, VHD, Azure, or you can just do the Azure VM. There's multiple languages that it comes in, French, Chinese, German, Italian, Japanese, Russian, Spanish, and so on. And then it also tells you about the prereqs right here and installation guidelines and stuff like that. So these are stuff that you can read if it's your first time. Um, but, um, just so you know, the evaluation periods, you get them normally for about 180 days, um, to play with, and then, um, just for testing purposes. But if you're actually trying to use Windows Server for any type of enterprise, um, purposes, recommended to buy a license to the manufacturer, Microsoft. Okay. All right, so let's get started. We're going to select English and the 64-bit edition. So once you click here, it's going to download. I've already downloaded it already, and it's right here. So I'll put it on the desktop. Now, what we want to do, we're going to go to Hyper-V, and we're going to create, basically, our first virtual machine. All right, so over here, you want to do new, or you can do the quick create um to start off your new machine so new virtual machine and we're going to call this machine dc01 okay i give them numbers because when you're building out a lab for purposes um later on if you have a new domain controller that you want to bring in you might want to call it dc02 03 and so forth so it's always good to give them names so you don't get them confused All right so here we have a location they're going to be stored locally i want to change this and i'm going to put this actually on my d drive All right so i want to make sure that i put those on the d drive itself so put it right there Perfect. So I'm going to create it in this location. This is going to be a default location that I'm going to store all my virtual machines from here forward. All right, I'm going to click next. Um, generation one and generation two. So one of the biggest um, difference between these, and you can read it, um, when you create a generation one, it supports both 32 and 64 bit operating systems. It's kind of like backward compatible, right, um, for Hyper V. But if you go to generation two, it supports only 64 bit, but it's actually built in to have UFI based firmware. So um, you need to select or know which one you want to use. We're going to go generation two, but as it states right here, once you create the machine, you can't change it back. So just a little bit of things you should know before you start building out. Okay. All right. So we're going to start up with. 4096 megabytes by four gigs of um, RAM, and I like to use dynamic memory so that it will pull whatever it needs as necessary. Okay, click next. Um, not connected, so I have a switch called default switch, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all of these are good. So, the size of this I want it to dynamically expand, but I'm gonna only start off. Because it's a domain controller, I don't need that much space on it right now. So we're just going to allocate 50 gigs. Okay. Um, and like I said, this is a location where all my virtual machines will be stored. So DC01, 
the hard drive and everything will be stored right here. And you wanna go ahead and click next. Now the operating system is a multiple file. So earlier, if you notice, when we downloaded that file from Microsoft, this is where you're going to point. Normally, if, if you download it straight, it should be in your downloads. Mine will be right there. And that's where you'll point it to so that you can actually boot up, right? And then you click next. Verify all the settings are good. And once you're ready, you just go ahead and click finish. And there you go. So your machine is, your virtual machine is created. Normally the state is off unless you turn it on. And from here, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Right. And let's start this machine up. Press any key to boot up. And this is running pretty fast. And we're going to install Windows Operating System Server 22 from here. Click Install. All right, so right here you can see you have four different versions, the Standard Edition and the Data Center Edition. Both of them come with the desktop experience and then also without it. So for this purposes, we're going to select the desktop experience. Now, if you don't know the difference between these, if you select the data evaluation without the GPU, the, the graphic interface, then that means it's going to only install the shell version of Windows Server 2022. And in order for you to manage it, you'll need to know how to work command prompt and PowerShell and uh, Windows Admin Center. Right, so multiple ways you could do this. You can start off here if you're um, very advanced and you know your way around. For this demo, demo purposes, I'm gonna start off here because you can always start this way and remove the, the interface after you've done. So just, you know, the easy way, if you want to work with the GPU, not the GPU, the graphical user interface, um, that environment you can work with it all you want set it up the way you want it and then once you're done You can remove it and it's pretty much just like the baseline environment All right, click next accept software license Here we're going to do a custom remember this was the 50 gig allocated so that was it and click new and then apply and then okay I like to do it this way so that it actually creates the partitions that are needed um, for the bill and let's go ahead and watch it build. And normally this doesn't take that long, depending on the speed of your computer and your virtual machine and all that stuff. So as you can see, this is actually running pretty fast. I'm going to pause the video here and then we'll resume once it comes back. Okay, as you can see, once it's ready, it's going to install and then it will just prompt you to restart, which will be fairly easy. And we'll do, it, do this itself. Okay, here we are. So um, that was fairly fast. Um, so Windows is Server 2022 is installed. We're just going to go ahead and create a password that we need to use to log in to the system. And there you go. So once you have it set up, Windows is ready to go. And you can literally just go ahead 
and log in as needed. And there you go. So you have a fresh copy of Windows Server 2022. It's installed, running on Hyper-V. And now it's just waiting for configuration. This is going to be the first step of our video so that you can take your time and walk, walk through building out the lab process. So once you get here, this is basically the same steps you would repeat these if you're trying to build multiple um, virtual machines with a fresh copy of Windows Server 2022. Thank you for watching this video. And if you did find this entertaining or you learned something, just go ahead and subscribe to the video. We really appreciate it. They help us to keep going. Until next time, follow the series where we continue to build out our lab. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.